Hi everybody, it's Emily. And Clark. On Sailing Vessel Temptress. And today we're going to answer another of your questions. Today's question comes from Michael Lynn Music, who wants to know how music has affected our lives and what instruments we play. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll start because my answer is shorter. I used to play trombone when I was a kid, you know, marching band, all that kind of stuff. Then I dropped out of music for a long time, got a sailboat, uh, years went by, about to take off, going around the world, which was the plan at the time, and it seemed the time in a man's life when they should own a guitar. So I bought a guitar, bought a book on a guitar playing, and took off. So I'm completely self-taught, and I understand that instrument like an engineer, not like a musician. I can teach it, I can make it do things, but I can't really make music with it. So I back her up. Uh, she is a musician. She is a musician in every way, and I'm going to have her answer all the rest of the questions. Oh, right. <laughs> he's downplaying himself a little bit. He <laughs> plays all right, and he's learning to pick up more uh, chords by ear when we play uh, with groups. He can mm -hmm. sort of, we've learned some tricks and just. Oh, and have my one theory. song I can play lead guitar on. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he does, but I grew up steeped in music. I started playing music when I was about five or six. My parents bought an organ, I think from a rummage sale, um, and my older brothers took lessons, so I started taking lessons. Uh, they ended up stopping, but I continued. Um, when I was in fifth grade, I switched to the piano so I could do competitions and things like that. And then in middle school, I picked up the trumpet. In high school, I picked up tuba. And in college, I majored in music in a general sense, so I learned a little bit about a lot of instruments. Um, I've also played percussion in a marching band, and as an adult, I picked up the baritone ukulele and the accordion. And just recently, a soprano ukulele, because um, so many people here in the harbor have ukuleles that they don't know how to play. Um, so I picked that up so that I could teach it here and help people uh, start using their instruments. And harmonica, and, and, and yeah. any, anything she touches within a couple days, she's playing it pretty darn well. Yeah, I'm not an expert level player in anything, but uh, it's kind of like some people are with languages, some people are good at learning languages. I would say I'm good at learning instruments. If you give me an instrument without a book or anything, I can kind of figure out how it works mm -hmm. and how to make it do various things in a little bit of time. If you look at our Danny Boy video, she's playing the accordion. She just kind of started that song. Well, we both started that song that morning. Mm -hmm. But that accordion is a 100-year-old button accordion German thing that came all the... Well, we actually have a video on that. Yeah, but yeah. Like our oldest video is how we reassembled that accordion and yeah. tuned it. So the engineer <laughs> fixed the instrument and I learned how to play it. Yep. So, but, um, so that's what we play. Mm -hmm. The role that music plays in our lives, um, we, we play at least once a week, I would say. And out here in the cruising community, music is kind of a good social glue. Um, you meet people in the harbor from all around the world, people mm -hmm. from Europe, people from uh, Central America, people from here. and. Um, if you meet somebody else who's a musician, you instantly have this bond and this way to communicate with each other. You can just sit at a picnic table and they play a song and you play a song and you find you learn uh, some of the same songs and you know some of the same songs and uh, it's a really good way to connect with uh -huh. people. We also, uh, well because of Emily's talent, uh, we, got, we got discovered because of her talent, so we are both invited uh, weekly. We go to uh, a little jam session with locals on the island. So we probably wouldn't have met land-based people quite so much. Mm -hmm. So some of them are bohemians and some of them are like American expats that bought a house here. And that's been really rewarding because it's a, a different, so we kind of have our, uh, most of the week we're hanging out with boaters and then one day a week we hang out with land people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so music is really, uh... I would say a big part of our life. It's a good way to entertain yourselves mm -hmm. too on a boat if you don't um, have us, but some people like to read, some people like to do yoga, and some people like to do music. Some people do all those things, but music is kind of our way to entertain ourselves yeah. and each other and uh, give kind of gifts to people sure. that we know. You know Last night we went to a dinner party, we were invited to another boat, and the woman has a, decor, uh, a ukulele. And she hands it to Emily, and uh, Emily ended up playing like five songs, and everybody was just enthralled. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so that's that's our musical summary, I mm -hmm. guess. That's what we play. That's how it affects our lives. We love doing it, and um, I'm just going to put in a pitch for anybody who wants to learn an instrument. Uh, the soprano ukulele is a really cool instrument uh, to pick up, and I've made it really easy. I have a color coding system that maybe I'll share. 
um, in another video and I uh, hope you guys learn it too if you want to because huh? I like to encourage people to try music because so many people say oh I wish I could play an instrument and you know everybody should try it. I hope that answers your question. Um, if you've got more questions about music and the role it plays in our life and in the cruising world, let us know uh, in the comments below and uh, we'll answer another question again sometime soon. Bye from Temptress. Bye.